Don't get me wrong, man. That was lovely. <laughs> Oh, and you know Honestly, what? When should I stay or should I go? I think yeah. you just, if you just, if I can stand by you, then. Uh... Nah, honestly. Uh... I'm terribly sorry, Ben Gibbard. As <laughs> I can't think of a song of yours that fits in with this conversation. But uh... why don't we start with your guitar to try and make Let's amends? But if he was here, Ben Gibbard, I'm sure what he would say is, please like and subscribe <laughs> and hit the notification bell because he would say, hey, hey guys, it's Ben here. Uh, you, <laughs> you don't so, want to miss anything. Like, subscribe, hit the notification and just click the pop-up banner for more silly videos. Half the fun, I think, of working with <laughs> guitar brands like Fender and Gibson and the like uh, is discovering oh. artists that maybe are big in another country or big in a, uh, or just in a genre of music that I'm not hugely yeah. familiar with. Yeah. And anyway, this is this guitar. So this is the dude called Ben Gibbard. He's in a band called Death by Cutie. Um, and I'm not Death familiar with Cutie. that. Death by Cutie? Yeah. Cutie. I had to listen to a couple of tunes. It seems kind of that sort of atmospheric kind of rock, indie rock kind of stuff. Okay. So hopefully that sort of intro bit, hopefully I haven't just listened to the two, only two tunes they've ever written yeah. that are like that. <laughs> hopefully that's indicative of, of the band. But you know what's going to happen in the comment section. Yeah. <laughs> he has got a super cool um, 70s Mustang signature that's with wicked. a few twists that are unlike any Mustang that I've seen before. Um, so we've got some normal Mustang-y things, particularly of that era. So we've got the 24-inch scale length, we've got the big headstock, we've got the sort of sat, not sat in the, the lacquered, the gloss yeah, yeah, yeah. neck. We've got the vintage tuners, all that kind of cool stuff. But now this is where some of the variations happen. So we've got a chambered ash body. Oh, it's so a chambered, re is Really it? lightweight oh. chambered ash body. And Beautiful, beautiful figuring on, on, on Ash. One of the reasons I like Ash is I always think it's a very pretty looking piece of you wood. You have a great figure. Lee. We've got two Ben uh, Gibbard signature custom wound single coil pickups. And, I, and you'll be forgiven going, where's the switch? Uh, there is no pickup switch. It's this back tone control has been modified Holy into a, a three-way... Um, what, it's a three-way? Toggle selector. So what, it doesn't do anything else? There's not a tone it's there? It's not tone. So it's just it's that pickup, both together back pickup that's i, I kind of like that yeah now. and then the tremolo system yeah has been modified as well to be a hard tail so there's not that's there's it looks like there should be a trem arm for it but there isn't a trem arm and this doesn't move at all it's just basically oh, a fixed bridge delicious but with the classic mustang uh bridge so you've got the sort of the slightly deeper the bigger saddles with the deeper grooves in them so let's give you some tones. It's a, it's a pretty familiar feeling neck it's a sort of nine and a half inch radius not too chunky i mean it may be the Maybe the sides of it give it slightly more of a U shape than a C shape. But if you basically, if you play Fender guitars, it's it's fun. You know, it's that's what it it's feels familiar. like. It's familiar. So tone away, Lee. Here we tone go. Away. That pickup. Both the pickups and <laughs> the bridge pickup. It's that very traditional Mustang, jangly, bright. Um, you know, and I think what you need is a little bit of gain on here and then sort of use the sensitivity of the, of your picking to... And you can, you can feel or audibly hear the extra vibration there is in the strings because the string tension isn't too much. Yeah. And then that opening bit was, you know, it's basically a good fun chance to put all the pedals on the board on. So I've got extra reverb from the, um, from the slow, the walrus slow. Um, bit of delay slow, from the slow. specular. Bit of wobble from the uh, jam harmonious monk. Uh, and actually, I think I was using another drive as well. I think I've got this new Zen drive. Maybe I was using them both together. It's a oh, lot of fun. I mean, it's delicious, again, man. I don't know what it, you know. I kind of like the fact, 
you know, signature guitars sometimes will only ever be bought by big fans of the artist. And yep. I think more often that's the case when the guitar perhaps isn't particularly innovative. It's like if it's just the same as every other guitar, but a different color. And then maybe the fans go, OK, I'll get that. Whereas sometimes you see signature guitars where you go, OK, I don't really care whether I'm a big fan of that band or that artist or not. I just think the guitar's like cool. Yeah. Um, what's not to like about a beautiful looking, I mean, I'm guessing this probably started life as a, a solid color and then it's been stripped down and maybe he's had his tech try and chamber bits out of it. Then he's had his tech modify the heart. You know, it's, it feels to me that, like yeah, yeah, he's it's... modified it all up to be like this and yeah. then Fender have gone, hey, we could yeah. just do that as a production model if you yeah. like. Are so you I really that? like this. Um, it's and cool. it's made in Mexico, so it's not crazy money. I mean, I think it's still probably not much change out of a thousand pounds. Although again, links below if links you want to find below, out more. Really. Pretty sure this came in a gig bag. Yeah, I think um, so. I didn't unwrap it though. I didn't unbox it. So I, I, um, I think it but did. There's, there's always room, I think, in every guitar player's collection for something a bit different. And if you've not got a 24 inch scale length guitar, um, or maybe, guitar. I mean, there's a lot of players, again, players that maybe are, uh, just feel more comfortable with a guitar that's a little bit more compact this way and super lightweight. So, yeah. hey, that is the Ben Gibbard. Yeah. Uh, signature Mustang. Very cool for very, very 2021 cool. by Fender. Which leads us on to uh, a, a band where the people actually call us the same, the pretenders, to pretend to know what we're talking about a lot. lot. Uh, which is probably one of my favorite signatures Fender's come out this year, I think. This and the Jason Isabel. This is the Chrissy Hine. Do you know uh, what? I've got to say about the pretenders. It's like, if you said to me, name your top 10 favorite bands of all time. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of like, off the top of my head, I would probably nine times out of ten I wouldn't think to put the pretenders in it and then a song comes on of theirs and you and just it, go oh my god it's like the best arguably, song ever. <laughs> I mean some of the there's two or three of those songs that absolutely should be in top ten greatest songs of all time yeah I mean I'll um, stand by you which is a song oh. um, which you know I played clang not with with the pretenders sadly, yeah, sadly not with the but pretenders. with the, the, the girls allowed and we played and, and playing that song it, you you when you listen to the song you it's a great song but then when you listen to it you don't realize how much actually is going on in that song how many modulations in the fir the, the the first verse and then it goes into a chorus then the second verse modulates then it modulates again again and again uh, you know so it's and you I remember playing it I'm thinking well mm. what about you know F and then E and then you draw all the way around but anyway and then there's don't get me wrong so uh, not to she's uh, just got walking on sunshine that's not the one. It's, but it's got the same kind of, you know. Um, I just think it's hugely cool of Fender to honor someone like Chrissy Hind with a signature guitar. Absolutely. You know, just she's got such a cool vocal and written so many great songs. Yeah. Um, cool, cool chick, right? She just looks cool and she, yeah. you know, she's, so she's a go. proper rock and roller. So it's a made in Mexico uh, road worn series. And which we love. Which Big we fans love. Of the road worn. But this is, um, I'm. I'm looking forward to the Jason Isbell, which is also a signature guitar. If you don't know Jason, go and check him out because he's, he's an incredible player. He owns a 1959 Les Paul as well, the, a Red Eye or something he's called. Anyway, he's got guitar collection. He's a good, he's a great player, lovely guy from what it seems. Uh, that one I look forward to as well. But this has got a rosewood fingerboard. Wow. <laughs> It's got a maple neck, locking fender tuners. Oh, cool. And actually, I'm not sure what this color is, but it's kind of an icy blue, isn't it? Like Yeah, frost blue metallic frost blue or metallic. something like that. And it's very I don't cool. know if we can see that the lacquer the is cracked in there. The patina on there looks here. great. It's done a killer got a, job. Yeah, and it's can got I, the CX here. Can you hold that here. closer to me? Because they don't normally do the whole patina thing on Road One, do they? That's normally, well, they, Road they, One's they, normally just like they got scuffs and stuff whereas yeah. the actual proper this, lacquer cracking i think what happens here is this is all you know you got the worn kind of uh hardware here with the mirrored plate which looks amazing which is worn as well right yeah and then it's just the lacquer's cracked so, so it's and it's a nitro so i was gonna say it's proper nitro finish telecaster nitro finish telecaster with rosewood board rosewood board lacquered neck and it's got a 50s pickup in the neck here and then it's got a uh, home uh, signature neck pickup in the in the front there again if you know oh, really? so it's the neck it's, pickup is the neck signature pickup one is the, it's the oh, it's her it's her signature one they probably work together and gone i like this kind of tone can mm. we can we change the pickup to that um volume and tone three-way selector switch um and 
with a case, with a hard case. Yeah. Which again, with a hard case and <laughs> a white guitar strap. Is this? Yeah. Does this say Fender on it anywhere? I don't yeah, know. Oh, yeah, it does. So it's like a Fender. Yeah. And and whatever this <laughs> is, the best thing. The ever. Chrissy Hines Deputy Marshal Appaloosa Sheriff's badge. I mean. <laughs> The, I'm sure maybe that. mega pretenders fans will go, that's because X, Y, Z. Yeah, but yeah. maybe she is the deputy marshal of Appaloosa. Maybe I've not even pronounced that correctly. Can, um, I, can I just say, this guitar, I think it's about 12, 1300 quid, round about yeah. that, that mark. This guitar, for that money, is unreal. It's got all of the stuff that you would expect from a custom shop Strat, but it's just glorious. The color's great. I mean... I might have to keep this Fender and just ignore when you want it back. I really like it. Come on, it. give us some tones. Yeah, I think it's give awesome. Give us some tones. Uh, I'm into the Bad Cat and just quickly, neck is really slim on right. this. Just so 60s. Feel 60s neck. Oh yeah, yeah. that is slim. Proper 60s slim neck there, uh, but nice roll. Is it a slap board? It looks really yeah, look slim, Yeah, look at it, from, it? The, from the end where the neck meets the... Yeah, so you can see it's um, yeah. a slab, not a laminate. Yeah, oh my board. god. Yeah. It's just the dark, lovely rose. Clean, straight in. Yeah. That's super clean. Like, as in, that must be quite a low output. Pick up, I think it's, it's a not, really low output pickup. It's not even remotely getting close to causing There's, the amp to drive. No, is not it? at all. I mean, again, I would pretend on her immediately to get a little bit more sing out of it, but that's up to you out there, guys. So here's the middle position. Just telecast the loveliness. I don't know what she... I mean, there's always like those, uh, you know, I'll stand by you kind of, stand by you. See so those kind of, kind think, of chords in there. If you're the singer fronting up a rock band, yeah. what is... Is there a better guitar than the Telecaster? No. Because it's, it's, it's like, a, it's, it's never going to go out of tune. It? It's always going to give that proper thumping kind of rhythm guitar yeah, sound. exactly. And I think even if you're under, you know, like Bruce Springsteen, for mm. instance, he'll just have it and it's cranked up. Yeah, that's, the, that's the bridge pickup. Yeah. And if you slap a little bit of Dane on it. To be honest, anyway, I, didn't I wanna... can't hear myself in here, so I'm just guessing that I'm roughly in I wouldn't want to... I, I just was like, no, uh, no, 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 I didn't know where I was, and then okay. I played myself. Anyway, it's just a cool, riffing rock machine, and, you know, it's... What's I, not to you know, like? I'm, I'm like, it looks it's almost amazing. like it's almost like being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, which I'm sure she and the band probably already are. But it's like you've got your Fender signature guitar; it's like the badge of honor now 
But it's very cool. This, I, I, re I really like that. Absolutely, yeah. Not getting it back. It's awesome. Yeah. I love we it. Make, I we make... I love it. We, Anderton's has probably done more Fender Special Runs with Mexican Road Worn guitars than any other guitar over the last year or so. And they're just, they knock it out of the park every yeah. time. It's, 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 it's so wicked. much bang for your buck. If per you're into that whole ones. nitro finish thing, <laughs> then yes. Anyway, which from, leads us on. From one superstar to another. Yeah, that's right. Should we stay or should we go? Superstar as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm just tangled up in some cables here. Um, so, Joe Strummer, um, should he stay or should he go? Uh, he never went because he went straight out to the campfire at Glastonbury and had a good strum and a sing song, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, well, I, again, obviously, I mean, I'm. You, you, you know, know the Clash I, better than I do. Well, I, you know. That was definitely the Clash was a band again when I was probably in my teens and growing up. You, you know, was was a big influence. And then, funnily enough, again that whole um, I'm probably just slightly too young, funnily enough, to have really got into the Clash. So I yeah I was more big Audio Dynamite when um, I don't even know who that is. I'm afraid. Sorry very much. Well, so that wasn't Joe Strummer. Uh, and uh, and I'll be honest with you, all my brain's gone to mush now. But um, the other guitar player in the band. <laughs> Anyway, blimey, that's bad, isn't it? I can't remember. Anyway, look, so uh, when Fender came to us with this, they said, look, you've got to see these cool old you know, videos that have been posted on places like YouTube because apparently uh, Joe Strummer's big thing after yeah. Glastonbury was yeah. he'd go backstage with, and invite people to do these campfire sessions. Yeah. So he'd play acoustic guitar and sing along around the campfire. Yeah. Um, and so the Strummer uh, estate or the Strummer Foundation, you know, because obviously Joe's no longer with us, kind of agreed to do this limited edition guitar with, with Fender uh, called yep. the Joe Strummer Campfire. Yep. And it's basically it's like a, a small body acoustic guitar yep. and a cool matte black finish and, yep. a, and a Fishman uh, pickup on it and the kind of interesting headstock because you've got the it's angled like, back like headstock, an which is unusual on, a, on that kind of guitar, but it in the, the classic Fender sort of shape. Little stars <clears throat> inlays in the neck here, uh, and there's a star inside, yeah, and a little a, campfire. That inside. was a Joe Strummer thing. I, I, yeah. remember, I remember Joe Strummer had um, possibly the Satin first finished. ever sort of Mexican uh, signature guitar. That he had a Telecaster, basically, out of... And oh, it, yes, I remember. And I think it was... Number. And it came with so much cool candy. Like, it had old... Um, Clash album sleeves and all this kind of stuff. I think I remember that. And this is going back like at least 20 years, I'm going to guess. It's the 80s, mid 80s, was it? No, no, no. I mean, it was, it was or late. much more recent than that in the sense that the, Me you know, the Mexican factory was, was up and running. Oh, sorry, um, of course, of course, but of course, I, of course, of course. But I, it was, I it was just... relict. It was, it was like, a, you know, a pre-road one, so like a, a relic thing. Wow. And... And the only reason it sticks in my mind is back then, you know, I, I think, you know, like a busy week for Andertons was probably to sell like, you know, 10 guitars or something like that. And this Joe Strummer Telecaster, we sold, I want to say we sold like a hundred of them. So it was like a complete bonkers. Anyway. Anyway, that was I, back I in the remember. day. Anyway, so that, that was that's so, a long time ago. Yeah. So um, it's a mahogany body here. It's got a uh, spruce, solid spruce top on it. Uh, Laurel fingerboard, mm. um, mahogany neck, and you know it's just a small body of guitar. It comes with a really cool case as well, actually, like a oh, deluxe does, case yeah. with, which I didn't notice, but look, it's got the a little. I can't um, even see the logo. The logo, but it's like um, what is it called? Like uh, camouflage. Isn't camouflage. Isn't it? I don't camouflage know. Camouflage logo, just in case I mean, you uh, lose your gig bag in the like, woods. I you can't see the bag. Can you, you can't see you the can't logo. See what it says on it? <laughs> I can't. What does it say? I, does it say? This says it's the bag that says Fender on it. I can't see this says Fender on it. I'll be honest with you. They were the two coolest <laughs> new accessories from Fender for 2021 is there's like um, the black and white camo. What do you call that type of camo? But you know, like um, the, where it's gray, white and black as opposed to oh, uh, yeah, yeah, greens yeah. and browns. Yeah. So they do two gig bags now, one in the sort of gray, oh, white do they? and black I haven't seen them. The, oh, there's so the much new stuff, man. I can't camo. keep up. Anyway. anyway, yes. Let's just first, I've got the uh, a KM184 on the front here just to, ha to just show you what it sounds like. It's not a big sound. You know, by any means, they're, they're, it's a small it's body a campfire guitar. sound. It's a campfire sound. So if you're sitting over there and it's a roaring campfire, <laughs> you probably don't want to hear it. <laughs> I mean... I like, I always loved that. It's like, oh my God, what was the body doing there? Anyway, it's it.
For that kind of thing, Can it's I, great. I just apologise. So it was uh, Mick Jones with, Mick the, Jones. Other, with <laughs> the other member. <laughs> it's been eating me away. That's I just good. thought it's so rude that I can't remember the dude's name. Well, there name, we go. But um, yes, let's I do a quick, quick, I'm just going to play some quick blue slicks on it because it's, that lends itself to that. <laughs> And then, of course, you've got your Fishman uh, pickups. So and now we're going to go away from this microphone because I'm going to plug it in. Um, a little Fishman uh, system here with a tuner built in, which is clever, with tone and treble and bass and a volume in the middle. And then a little battery. Uh, that's it, basically. It's really, really simple. Battery compartment down here. And I've plugged into a um, Soulmate acoustic from TC, T-Rex, sorry. That sounds great. It's good. It sounds really nice. Mm. makes me feel like it's kind of cool because I, I know looking at our you know when we see the the stats on our YouTube audience yeah. we know that there's people watching out there who are all ages you know there are people in their teens and younger right through to people in their 90s watching this stuff. yeah there are but if you're if you are one of our younger watchers um a hundred percent go and listen to some of the clash and go and listen to some of the pretenders yeah um, we need to go and listen to <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I mean, obviously, go and listen uh, to, I'm guessing, the Death by Cutie. Probably the, the teenager, the ones telling us, shouting at me, yeah, going, go and listen to them too. So, yeah, yeah. If, you're, if you're in your 90s, go and listen to Death by yeah. Cutie. Um, but, so it, I, uh, I mean, Dude, as, as songwriters, the, the pretenders are so up there. And, yeah. and the Clash just, they were just part of that. Epic. Epic sort of punk rock scene in the yeah. 70s. And the energy... Oh it's yeah, like, drinking and the drugs and just the, just the stage just, show energy yeah. was just, and you know, and, and it was quite you know it was angry, it got a bit political, it was just, but it was so cool. It was in time. As I said, I kind of remember, you know, I'm, I was more in my teens in the '80s, so I, I kind of you know probably missed that sort of really cool period yeah, for the we, Clash. We, we were born in the '70s, um, which means we missed out on that sort of '70s so yeah. uh, wooden clocks. Uh, yeah. But you go and go check it out, you know. And, and I said, well, well done, Fender, for for you know trying to you know get these you know artists and the estates of the of of, of um, artists who've passed away to kind yeah. of you know try and keep keep the flame alive, keep the flame alive. for can some I, amazing music. And can I just say yes. that this year has been the year for signature guitars. I mean, there's, this year there's and last year, yeah. and, mm. and Gibsons and Epiphones and Kramers and now Fenders and I mean, and they are all great. And you know, if you haven't heard about these artists. To go and check them out, man. It's just an inspirational thing, isn't it? Yeah. Listen All right. to new artists. This is well, Matt Finish, man. It's, it gets, yeah, don't uh, touch it, man. It's don't a, touch it. Yeah, in fact, can we just end this video with a disclaimer? If you buy this Joe's drummer guitar, the minute you touch it with a sweaty finger, it will be irreversibly uh, marked. Look. Which is kind of half the fun. Um, yeah. But yes, if you don't want your guitar to do that, buy one with a shiny finish rather than a satin finish. Shiny, shiny. Right, I'm going to okay. keep this one. Nobody Onwards and upwards, Mr. Pete. Yes, Mr. Lee. See you later, guys. Like and subscribe. <laughs>